Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install a bilge pump on my 1236 Low John boat. It's very quick. I'm going to show you. I already pre drilled the holes down there. So we'll assemble the bilge pump. We'll hook it up to the switch that we did in my, uh, my last video and we'll run the tube and it's going to exit right over here. I'll put it out the back. My back rides pretty low in the water, um, but I'm going to put it out the side wall. Uh, so very short run with the hose and uh, I'll show you now. There's one bolt and I got a locking washer on there. And you want to get the bilge pump as low as you can. Okay, now we have the pump securely fastened and now we're going to connect the hose and I don't want the hose running out behind me so it's going to loop around and it's going to come out uh, this side so when I hit the switch I'll be able to see it no problem. Okay, now we're just going to tighten up the clamp. Just till it's snug. So as you can see, my pipe loops around. There it is there, loops around. I'll, I'll attach all of this after. It's gonna run along there, up, over. And this is gonna come out the side. So that'll just punch out the side. So we'll drill a hole now for this. So we got our pilot hole. We're just gonna drill our one inch hole to fit our outlet for the bilge pump. And there's our outlet hole for our bilge pump. Okay. So there is our inside piece. And our outside piece. Nice and clean. Now we are going to connect our hose. Uh, so here's where our exit is. And here's our pipe, get our gear clamp on there. And this should just slide over top of here. Get our gear clamp on there. Okay, nice and snug. I will uh, fasten the hose down now. So I got these. They have sticky tape on the back and you peel off the cover and you stick it down and then you can run your uh, zap strap through them on either side you lay your pipe in the middle and you strap it together. So that's how we're going to hold down all this piping. doesn't need to be too tight you will crush the pipe and just cut that off the top Okay, so we're going to take the black and red wire from our bilge, new bilge pump and we're going to run it underneath the seat over to our new switch panel here and it's going to be our last switch on this side. So we'll wire that up and then we'll put this all back in because uh, on the last video we did the three first switches which are the lights um, and the fourth one is going to be the bilge pump. So you'll uh, we'll wire that up now and you'll have a look. 
because the wires for the bilge pump are too short, we have to extend them. So here is the ground wire, um, and here's the extension. I got a sleeve because this will be in the well of the boat. So I want to make sure everything's watertight. So that just goes in there. Crimp that on. Pull, it's not coming out. There's our watertight sleeve. There's the sh heat shrink wrap. Okay, and that's all done. So I extended that about two feet on my uh, 12 foot 12 foot John. Enough for it to go under the seat. They're called self-stripping tap connectors. Uh, so the dead end wire will run on this side, and the one that wire running straight through will run on this side. And then this piece of metal transfers electricity. There's a new wire that goes in there. Our existing wire goes in there. Negative done. Now we're going to shove all this wire in here and connect to our positive. And there we go. Everything's wired up. Okay, so I'm not sure how much you guys saw of that, but I installed my six screws and I've also added stickers on each one. So this would be my front center light. This would be my front left and right lights. This would be my rear light. And then this is my bilge pump. So here is the final product with the bilge pump. Runs up there. Exits there. More hanger runs along the edge under the seat to our new uh, switch panel. Okay, our bilge pump is fully submerged. And we're gonna do a quick test. Hit our new switch, and there we go, our build pump is working. <laughs>